1984 has been a tough year. Our sales are down, our growth is down. Sonny, I brought you in here to grow the basketball business. People don't know what the hell a Nike is. What's a Converse? NBA All-Star shoe. There's nothing cool about Nike. You would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. I do not love it. This is where you come up with a brilliant idea that no one else can see. Let's hear it. I got it. I found him. Who's that? Jesus? Can't afford it. I'm willing to bet my career on one guy. My name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? I don't like to take no for an answer. Oh, man. Here we go. You ask me what I do here. This is what I do. I find you players, and I feel it this time. Okay, it's risky. When you were selling sneakers out of the back of your Plymouth, that was risky. Don't change that now. For a rookie? Yes. Who's never set foot on an NBA court. That's the literal definition of rookie, yeah. What's the plan? We build a shoe line around just him. I need the greatest basketball shoe that's ever been made. Who's the player? Michael Jordan. Your motor is... I believe in your son. I believe he's the future. And his story is going to make us want to fly. But a shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. You got a name for it? Air Jordan. I don't know. Seriously? No, maybe it'll grow on me. Do you still can't say it? Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. There you go. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. Oh, is that a grinder? To anyone we should meet? No. no. I'm getting married. You are? Who's the lucky lady? Don't know yet. What do you mean? No, I'm getting an arranged marriage. Well, assisted marriage. That's what we're calling it these days. Dare I ask, what about love? You grow to love the person you're with. What, like Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> So, your ideas for your next film? I could follow my childhood friend to marry a stranger chosen by his parents. My big fat arranged wedding. <laughs> Meet the parents first. <laughs> Love contractually. Huh. Mo here, Mo the matchmaker. No photos? No, no photos yet. You're thinking with your Lulu, you need to be thinking with your Lulu, okay? What's your education, bro? He's a doctor. Oof, oh, no, listen, top of the food chain. And any vices I should know about? Drinking, smoking, dogging. No dogs, no pets. No, no, dogging means something. D doing. Cats are okay. Got news? I got engaged. Wait, what? Very like her. Hi. Hi. It's love at first Skype. <laughs> How do you feel about possibly moving to London? She's fine with it. It's a very multicultural place. <laughs> <laughs> the wedding's in Pakistan. You're so fully signed up to this. You're forgetting I've seen it work. Maybe you should focus on your own choices. You actively search out anyone who is wrong. No one can get close to you. Am I just half the person when I'm not with the man? Is that what you think? And just like that, you know why the Prophet said, Paradise lies at the mother's feet? There is no love greater than a mother's love for her child. Your happiness, it's all that matters. Still full of you. We all need other people. There's no weakness in that. Now the party starts. Just like that! I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person. But now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person. I'm very lucky to have them as neighbours. Actually, they've become like family to me since your father left for that teenage tour. She's 35. Exactly. Hello? It's Dad. I'm, I'm getting out soon. All we know is what we've been. Maxine, table eight. Mom, ask Dad for the money. I'll handle it. I need money, Tyler. 
Well, maybe if you let me see him, I might be a little more generous. All we In the time I have left, I would like to spend it with you. I'll do it on one condition. You pay me rent. Oh my God, you're still so beautiful. You're a tenant. That's it. It'll be passed down to generations to come. It's been ages since I've seen this place. Blood stump. Filled with bad memories. I'm not that guy anymore. From the fathers, right down to the sun. <laughs> I'm tired of being picked on all the time. I'm gonna take you somewhere. You always have to protect yourself. Big Daddy Bulldog's in town, huh? Think that's a good idea? You're an addict, Tyler. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Or what? Don't come in here now like you're some hero, because you're not. You can't stop me from seeing him. No? Watch me. I promise I will never let them harm you again. I know none of this will make up for who I was or what I did. But let me be your father for once. Stop it! Get over here! Why did you go to jail? Which time? Wait, how many times did you go to prison? More than I care to remember.